Okay, we have a trailer here for Tutorial 7. First off, we're going to just give you a quick glimpse of what it is to draw what this is a roof and how this tutorial works. So we're going to get the Xactimate screen. We're going to go and toggle to the pictometry picture. We're going to look at the ridge and its orientation and then the other ridge to see how if it hits it right at the peak how the valleys are formed and where the third ridge is. All this a photograph does a good job with. So now we're going to bring it in, get our first gable, I'm going to decide whether or not if we have a gable, commit it, and then we're going to begin the sizing process. We're going to show you the various different nuances. It's going to go at one quarter of this speed. So you'll be able to actually see. Now we'll toggle back, look at the picture like we just, just saw, and we'll notice that it needs the gable needs to be a little bit wider. Well, we're going to click on to the and make it just a little bit wider. Get it to a certain length or or figure. Move out the uh, roof annotation or Excel spreadsheet as I call it. And we'll take you step by step through this. And we'll compare it again. All right, now we're going to move and look at the other gables that we're going to introduce. We're going to grab another gable. This time we're looking at the orientation of the ridge. Sizing it. and pulling it to roof one. Making it a little bit bigger before we do so. Checking it out again, going back to the picture. That's why we're going to, you're going to learn why we like pictometry or Google Earth. Bring it in there and take a look at it and really we're going to concentrate right where the intersections of the ridges are we're going to play we're going to adjust the adjust height and show you that we made that flat we're going to change that back we're going to use the control z button a lot we're going to change it back and forth until we get the horizontal ridge the way we want it the way it looks as an exact replica of the picture that's the beauty of having the picture it remembers details all right then we go to 3d so you can take a look at it and 3d is a very good tool to use we're going to go back to adjust height we go back and forth this process is com is always repetitious and if you're a perfectionist, you'll get the replica. Now we're looking for the third gable. See how it interfaces. See that that horizontal gable is parallel, but higher than roof two's gable. We committed it. Now we're just making, we're sizing the third gable. Notice how we size the gable and get it ready before we commit it to the main drawing. The main drawing would be roofs one and two. 